you have Porter winning and the whole UK look descended down on your channel. Okay. So what I'm saying to you is that, right, in my opinion, in my opinion, these are fights where people can put you in there. Amir Khan, in my opinion, has done a certain amount of things where he doesn't have to put himself in harm's way because he's, he, that's why being Amir Khan puts you over. It puts anyone over. If you beat Amir Khan and knock him out or do what you got to do, it should put you over into that fucking stratosphere because Amir Khan is a well-known, high-profile fighter. Regardless of what anyone wants to tell me, Kell Brook is not. Before Kell, listen to this. Before Kell Brook, yeah, for Sean Porter, what was going on? What were people saying about Kell Brook? And if you, everyone listening to this podcast knows, he was getting slayed left, right, and said he ain't fought nobody, ain't doing this, doing that. How many times did he pull out? And I'm not, it's not a question, I'm just saying it. Right? How many times did he pull out the Devil Alexander fight and Devil Alexander backwards and forwards as well? These little things have been frustrating. His career has been frustrating all. Well, I mean, you... I've no question. I'm just, just talking. Right? Amir Khan has been fighting consistently, name fighters, name in, name out. He's earned the right. So what I'm trying to say to you. So if he says, yeah, you need to fight another part, then fight another part. He, in my opinion, he's the A side, and Kel is the B side. Regardless, he just got the belt recently. So what? Against Porter, fight him again. Fight Madonna. That's all I'm saying to you. Go ahead, Beast. Look, 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 look. Okay, okay. Madonna is not rated by the IBF. He ain't rated. He's not ranked, right? He's not ranked. Gavin is rated higher than Porter. Now, this is the IBF doing it. And I'm not saying he should fight Gavin. I don't like the fight. I don't like the fight. But at the same time, right, why are you chastising Kel's career? The same things you're accused. People say Khan hasn't got no chin. Khan doesn't take rematches. He's got blown out by Prescott. Prescott's never been an elite fighter, right? What's kept Prescott's other victories apart from knocking out Amir Khan? He didn't avenge that, right? He got knocked out by Danny Garcia. He didn't avenge that. He got beaten by Lamont Peterson. He didn't avenge that. So you're overinflating Amir Khan a little. For, for a start, he's not the big draw. No box office. No big pay-per-views. None of that. He's never been in the pound-for-pound pound rankings in any of them. In any bona fide, legitimate rankings, he's never been a pound-for-pound pound fighter. You're overinflating his value, in my opinion. He's a good fighter. He is a good fighter. But you're, oh, you've overinflated him. And uh. what I want to know is, like, okay, if you look at the ratings, you've got Tim Bradley, Amir Khan, Gavin, Porter, Chavez. What, why does... Brooke need to fight another ranked contender before they fight Khan. And Khan is just another contender with no more credentials than the rest of them. It doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. It doesn't make any sense. If that's the case, how much fights should Khan have before he gets considered to be the winner to fight the winner of Mayweather and Pacquiao? I don't know. You were, if you, you were trying to... You, in, in, I don't know what rankings you'll look at, right? IBF well, I, rankings. I, 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 I'm looking at the Ring Magazine rankings. Don't forget that I, I'm looking at the, all the rankings. The, I, I'm looking at the Ring Magazine ranking, the Bible of Boxing, right? All the rankings. Right now, Kell Brook's ranked number two, Amir Khan's ranked number three, right? But in terms of over, in terms of popularity, Amir Khan, if I go to someone on the street, do you know what Amir Khan is? Yeah. They know who Kell Brook is. Who's that? They won't know who Kell Brook is. They won't. Amir Khan is a household name. And you can't dispute that. He's a household name. Regardless of whether you think how popular in terms of fighting ability and all these other things, I understand that. Markability, right? Amir Khan is massive. And this is what I'm talking about. He's the bigger draw. And now, because he's the bigger draw, he can dictate where and who he wants to fight. If you fight him, you make that money. That's what I'm going to say to you. And you're trying to, you're taking away his pay per view. I've already mentioned how many pay per views he's got. How many pay per views has Khan got? Khan ain't got no pay per views. He ain't got no pay per views. Amir Khan's got pay per view fights. So it's the bigger draw you sure, you sure Brooke ain't got them same kind of um, Sky yeah, pay-per-views you're talking about? Yeah, when did, he, when did he get any pay-per-views? I don't know. I don't, maybe he gets Hatton or something. I don't know. I don't know. No, he hasn't got none. He hasn't got none. All right? He hasn't got none. Amir Khan's got three more than him and he ain't got none. Zero. Zip. So he's already showing you that there's a demand to watch Amir Khan. Amir Khan was on BBC One most of his career. And you know how big BBC One is. Right? He's on BBC One. He's on fights from ITV. You know how big they are. So what I'm trying to say to you, so basically he's in a bigger audience. More people have seen him. He's the bigger draw. Now, Kell Brook has just won the belt recently, and he needs to prove himself. And this is where it is. An IBF ranking, yeah? That's one rank. On the world being, Kell has only got one name on his record, one major name on his record. And that's what I'm trying to say to you. Yeah, we he know that. He needs to step up and face someone. And that's yeah, all Amir Khan. He needs to step up and face Amir Khan. Listen, listen. I'm just saying, look, Amir Khan's already put out what's going on, and that's it. Let me see what Chris has to say. Chris, you want to say anything? I guess it's just me and you. All right. Well, so me and Eric will be still on that one. 
You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But yeah. Khan ain't been a champion since June of 2012. Three years. And He's a this is the, right, and the thing is, right, Chris is right. It's what you have you done for me lately. Like a lot of, you know, there's a lot of newer fans who are more familiar with Brook than Khan. He's the champion. He's the champion now. So you were yeah. saying that, yeah, that, that also, changing the subject, I don't want to dive for that, but that also applies to Andre Ward, doesn't it? In what sense? In what have you done lately? So he should basically, what have he, he, you know, what has Andre Ward done lately? He hasn't done anything either, has he? No, he hasn't. Exactly, so that should apply to him as well, shouldn't it? In what scenario should it apply to him, though? It's true, because he hasn't done anything lately, but he's still regarded as the number one super middleweight in the, in, in, in the world, isn't it? Well, I don't agree with that so much. Well, but I'm, I'm just, uh, th- this is what I'm just bringing that similarities. What my point is, yeah, it's a good debate, by the way, right? Good, yeah. healthy debate for people listening. Yeah, you know, you can have a ha- healthy debate and disagree, but have a good point out. Beast has made some good points. For the people listening, right, both you could argue, you know, put your comments if you agree or disagree. But my point is, yeah, you, you, people need to understand, yeah, this is the way I, I agree 100% with Amir Khan's doing. And the thing is, yeah, like I've seen both their careers, and I'll tell you right now, right? If for me, yeah, I, I'd be disenchanted, yeah, for Kel who he, he fights Frankie Gavin, I will be, right? And I'd like him to fight someone else. Amir Khan at the minute, like if he wants to fight uh, Algeria or whoever he wants to fight, I've got no problem with that because you know why? He could lose them fights there. There's no guarantee that he's going to win them fights there. Yeah, they're no punches. But these are name guys. There's no narrow guarantee. I drew this got a name, but in Povotnikov, he just fought Pacquiao, right? He's a name guy. People know who he is in America's mind. They know who he is, right? So he could lose. He, in any of these fights, he could lose, but it's a risk. But like, you think Kel could ever lose against Jojo, Dan, or Frankie Gavin? You think there was a chance that he could even lose against them guys? Well, there was no. Khan, was Khan lost man. against Prescott, he's and cool. and he fought the stiffs like Dimitri Salita as well, and Paul he, McCloskey. Yeah, but and no, no. Was, what I'm saying to you is that yeah, I understand that. But I'm just well, you just said what have we done lately, so I'm just gonna go by what we've done lately by what you just said. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is there's no chance, right? And no chance that he, there was ever he was ever gonna lose them fights. Even a rematch with fucking our guy Carson Jones, yeah, he was still the favorite, and he came in here heavy. Carson came in as a welterweight, and he bombed him out. So what I'm trying to say to you, Khan is taking more risk. He's done more in terms of uh, he's done more in terms of people's popularity. Yeah, he hasn't got a belt. But in many eyes, he's the people's champion. That means a lot. He's my champion, and I'm backing him. And I'm backing him. I'm backing Amir Khan. Amir King Khan. Go Khan, Team Khan. Well, so that's uh, well, I, I see it. The Devon Alexander fight, right? That wasn't... I don't think that was high, high risk. In my, I had Khan winning it. I think, I, I think, I, I think, I, I think, I think Alexander was a fading force. I had Devon winning. I had Devon winning. No, I had Khan winning. Fight. I had Khan winning so that. Just, yeah, right? so you know, and, so and he's been winning. ducking. And he's ducked out of his eliminator with Bradley as well. So it's just all downhill for him, really. Hey, listen, listen, he deserved Brad, it. Brad, listen, got, Bradley, he deserved it. You got the, Brad, the Bradley thing, you can keep going. I'm just going to stick with Kel, right? And that, that, that's my well, I'm just know. throwing it in for extra ammo, you know? Just, I, know you are, I know you are. I know you are. For the listener, I know you have to, right? Because it's obvious. But what I'm saying to you is that on my subject, just with Kel, he needs to step up. And Amir Khan was right in the exact way he said about Kel. Nothing about anyone else, just Kel. And that's all I'm saying. So you don't want to see the fight you're saying? No, no, don't be silly. Of course I want to see that fight. Absolutely I want to see that fight. But I'm saying to you, he's saying if you two kill fight someone else, then there's no that you need to try and build the fight. Let Kel fight someone else. So I agree with what Amir Khan said. That's what he said. I'm agreeing with what he said from I for London. Shout out to Coogan Cassius yeah. and James Held over there, over there, right? So I'm bringing that name, dropping their name in it. So I'm just agreeing with what he said. You know what I'm saying? Yo, so Aaron, that's... tell the truth. You listened to that interview. Didn't you feel that Coogan wanted to tell him that, yo, you're some bullshit? He might have did, but he, I mean, he got, he got, he got, listen, he, Amir Khan took his time out to give him the call. I don't think he was going to disrespect him like that. Nah, he wouldn't. Of course he wouldn't. Of course he wouldn't. Exactly. Yeah. So, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like me and you, if we get in, if you are not going to do that, are we? Nah, of course we, not. Of course not. We push, though, but we're not going to buy We want to talk to the guy again. Yeah, yeah, we can't, him. obviously, obviously. Exactly, exactly. So, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yo, great to chop you up with you, man. All right. You know what I mean? Nope. All right. All right, people. Peace. DJ Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here. Yo, this is Chris Caban, chilling with my man DJ Boxing Live, one of the hottest, dopest boxing channels on YouTube. Check him out. The boxing beat some rounds on the EJ Live YouTube channel. And he was uh, the number 10 rating contender, and he had never been knocked down. And Sonny destroyed his mouth. Sophia lost most of his teeth. Basically, with one or two left hooks. Oh, shit, boy. What was look at?
kids sleeping like Manny Pacquiao. DJ Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here.